If you've been checking out all the videos in this series, you know the Amplify 75 and the Amplify 150 are as flexible and creative as they are fun to play. But there's more. You can connect a foot controller. So if you connect an FBV Express Mark II, you can have control over patches, tuner, and volume and wah. But today we're going to connect a shortboard Mark II and get even more control. All right, so now that the foot switch is connected, you can see it's an FBV shortboard Mark II. So it's got a bank up and a bank down button, four patch buttons on the bottom. There are four patches in a bank, and there are 25 banks, so that gives you 100 patches. Tap tempo, and then these buttons here are dedicated to the effects modules inside Amplify. Stomp, modulation, delay, and reverb. Those will always control those modules. Function one is permanently mapped to the compressor. If I step on the volume pedal, I get wah, otherwise it's always controlling volume. Once the foot switch is connected, you'll notice that the app on your iOS device looks a little different. So there's now an S, an M, and a D by those modules that it's connected to. It's showing that those are being controlled by the on-off switches on the FBV. So if I turn on modulation, it's on. If I turn on stomp, you can see that they're being controlled by the foot pedal, which is great. You can see those presets I mentioned by just going over here to the left side of the app, hitting the Amplify 150 icon, and now you see there's 25 banks of four sounds per bank. And the last one is a user bank. You can put them wherever you like, of course, but I've got a few loaded there, so if you want to see what those do. So I've got kind of a mic sound here. Add some delay. Modulation. Maybe you want to play a little solo thing. So you can easily create one patch that will be enough to cover an entire song. Case in point, I've got a crunch sound for the verses. I'm going to add a delay when I go to the chorus sound in the humbucker, and then I'll add a fuzz to uh, take a solo all in one pass. So here's the verse. So you can see that you can cover an entire song that way really easily just by turning on and off some effects in various places. The benefit as well is that you don't have to worry about spillover issues because the delays and reverbs will decay naturally even when you turn them off. So now that you've seen the control over the individual modules, you can start building uh, patches in one bank for a set of songs in a set, for instance. So you have that same Mikey sound. A memory man. Crunch Rocky thing. And a big clean sound. So you can see that adding a foot controller to amplify makes gig prep a snap. There's only a few pieces to use connected by one cable. It has all the sounds I need and it's easy to carry. So head on over to line6.com, hit the dealer locator, find a dealer near you with an Amplify in stock, and go check one out today. Thanks and cheers.